Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Asia. Welcome or welcome back to your girl channel, y'all. This is like a weekend vlog. I gotta run some errands. I gotta clean up the crib. And I'm doing a little bit of self-care for myself. So before I start blabbing, y'all, let me tell y'all a little quick story. So my mattress was supposed to be here last Monday, right? Amazon said, wait till Saturday. Okay, Saturday came. My package did not. So I hit up Amazon. Where is my package? Am on? Run me my money. Amazon said we can do your refund or we can do your replacement. Now, y'all, this is a memory foam mattress for the price that I paid. I'm not gonna find that type of mattress at that price anywhere else but Amazon. So I said, baby, hit that replacement button now. So replacement is supposed to be here next weekend and next weekend is St. Mary, y'all! Your girl is so hype. Hopefully, hopefully I get, fingers crossed, my mattress next weekend even though I'm not gonna be here. But I pray when I come back, it's at my doorstep because by that point, it's gonna be two weeks in and I haven't even lived in my crib. So yeah, I'm really ready to go into my crib, y'all. And then, I don't have a couch yet. I don't have TVs yet, which I plan on getting later. I don't really watch TV like that anyways, so that's not really a big priority for me, but I really just cannot decide on the type of couch that I want. I know I want the color to be beige, but everyone's like, oh, you have a baby, or or white gets dirty so quickly, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, OMG, like, I don't care. Like, I really, really want a beige couch. But I feel like I am taking a risk, like, being a daredevil with a kid and a white couch. So it's like, do I want to switch it up and do a black couch? Because the colors that I'm doing for my living room is, like, black, gold, black, gold white beige whatever so i guess the colors can be interchangeable Ooh, we'll see on that i really just need to decide but the apartment is coming together i have a lot of amazon packages that i need to put in my crib y'all have my car just loaded down with amazon packages so this is the agenda so today is saturday we're about to go to spirit halloween because halloween is coming up and i want me and munchkin to be twinning and then after spirit halloween i want to go to hobby lobby just look for more decorations y'all i feel like i'm looking for decorations just to avoid like looking for a couch because that's my toxic trait what's yours and then after that i really need some eyelashes because i feel like with the bob you need your eyelashes done and some lip gloss but i feel like i probably wait on that after we leave Hobby Lobby, we'll probably just come home and just start getting some trash out. Um, I'm going to have my desk put up and my chair put up tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm dropping Simone off in the morning. And it's kind of just like a self-care day for me. Your girl hasn't slept in three weekends in a row. And when I say I'm tired, I'm tired. I was passing out getting my hair done. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like... Your girl is really, really beat. So I'm taking tomorrow off, sleep in a little bit, go work out, and then go get my hands and nails done. Y'all, let me tell y'all this, and then we're going to go. So this week, I've been um, eating fruits and vegetables with my um, with my godmother and my church family. And y'all, your girl is down 10 pounds, honey. And I know I'm probably not on the whole screen, but y'all, your girl look good. I feel good. I have a lot of energy and my skin is skinning okay i feel good i look good honey okay anyways y'all the first stop is spirit halloween let's go <laughs>
look at my skin, you're gonna be violent. You're gonna be violent for Halloween. She don't care. She does. <laughs> Cheetah print, a uh, it's my favorite. That's not what I came here for, but I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> This is Bob the Builder, AKA She built my whole crib, y'all. She put together my bed, she put together my desk, she put together my baby playpen, she put together my chair. She the real MVP. <laughs> okay, get out. I'm just playing, okay. <laughs> y'all, um, while KK was putting together stuff for the house, I wasn't able to get sh done. Miss Simone was crying. I got her a new playpen, y'all, with a whole bunch of toys. That did not excite her. I think because it's always just been me and her, like Simone has not been, been to daycare yet. She's not really used to like other people or she hasn't really engaged with other people like that. So I feel like if it's not me, then Simone is gonna cut up. And lo and behold, she's cutting up. She's passed out now and it's, is it 8.24 or 9.24? 8.25. It's 8.25 right now. And yeah, this place is still a little hectic for me. Um, I'm gonna come over tomorrow after I drop off Simone and just kind of straighten up myself because there's just no way <sighs> Like I can do all this with a kid like <sighs> I get tired of being a single mother a single mother because You gotta <sighs> It's a long list and it's so much on top of me working a nine to five, on top of me trying to get my, my health together, my fitness together, on top of me trying to be that girl, on top of me trying to do content, on top of me trying to work my own business outside of everything I just listed. And yes, it's a lot, but I've never been just the basic type of girl. Like I've always done 10, 11, 12, 13 things at once and been successful. The only thing now is that I have a kid and she's an infant. And I try to give myself grace because I'm like, Asia, baby, you can't move how you used to move. But I want to move how I used to move. <laughs> so it's just hard. It's just hard trying to find a balance between I know I'm not the same person before. But it's like I miss, I guess, that lifestyle just like being on go. It was never in my I never thought in my life that I would be a single mother. So having to do everything like by yourself and pick yourself up and motivate yourself. And like I cry probably like two or three times a week because I'm just so stressed. Like it's, ugh, it's a lot of work. Anywho, right over. Um, KK built my desk and my chair. I work from home, so I'm like, if I'm gonna work from the crib, 
I need my desk and my chair to be top tier. And the chair feels so comfortable, y'all. I think I spent like, I don't know how much I spent on this chair, like 130, probably with taxes, maybe a little bit more. Y'all, this chair is this chair is so freaking comfortable. I love it. But my tomorrow's agenda is Simone is going with KK and I'ma come over here. I'ma go work out. I'ma go run first. And then I'ma go come back, shower, get ready, whatever. And then go get my nails done around 11 ish and my toes done. And have a margarita, honey. Well, I'm not supposed to be drinking any alcohol, so I'm not gonna drink. But um just enjoy myself, enjoy the day. I want to pray to God, really like really pray and really talk to him about what's going on, how I feel about certain things. I want to journal my thoughts and then come back over here and tidy up. Anyways, y'all, let me show y'all my work from home desk in my chair. Just so check me out in my new desk, honey. Looks so good. And the chair, y'all, oh my gosh, 10 out of 10, Amazon. I'll have the link below in the description bar, honey. This is too good not to share. Like, if you work from home, if you're office baddie, if you have your business from home, whatever you do from home, and you have a desk area, and you need a chair. This is it, baby. It is so plush, y'all. Everything don't have to be aesthetically pleased. I mean, this looks good to me, my opinion. But you don't need a furry chair. You don't need a fluffy chair. You need a chair with back support. You need a chair that's going to <laughs> The camera woman started laughing. You need a chair that's going to help you with your back, y'all. And I'm telling you, this chair is... This chair... I can go sleep in this chair. Anyways, y'all, I really, really, really like my new dad. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. It is Sunday, 12.04 p.m. And I'm at this new nail salon. I've never been here before, but I've heard really great reviews. Like, my family members come here. And y'all, starting a new, going to a new place is always like, eh, cause baby, I don't know what you can do, but I'ma see what they can do. I want acrylic, almond, French tips, and I want white gel polish on my toes with an acrylic big toe so i'm gonna see what they can do honey okay let's go ahead and get our nails done So your girl is back from the crib look at my nails they executed everything to the t i mean they even broke down your girl charges honey they gave me a hot pillow for my neck i ain't never had that they really legitimately took their time the guy that did my nails spoke to me in english sweetest guy like my god they have a customer for life i'm definitely going back they're so kind i've never left a 20 dollar tip that's how good it was they executed my nails to the t i wanted them short because of munchkin and yeah love 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 um as i'm here eating my salad i had to walk over to my apartment i live in the same area as my mom and my car broke down at her apartment complex now mind you my car has broken down two other times so this is now the third time the first time my car broke down at my house i had i have state farm insurance they came out to my house and they said it's your battery but i just got a battery like two years ago two years ago okay when it broke down again here at my other so it broke down the first time in dallas then it broke down here where i'm at right now 
and my mom was like go ahead and have it towed to um the shop well they took it to the shop and it was like oh we don't see nothing wrong only thing that's wrong is um your light switch because my lights are automatic but i keep it on automatic instead of turning it off so they're like oh your light switch it's your light switch i'm like that's weird i've, I've never messed with that like but okay so i stopped turning it on auto and when i was out and about today i thank god that he allowed me to get home but when i was out and about today i had stopped at the dollar tree first and when i was in the parking lot it was like rrr, rrr, rrr. like it didn't want to crank so i'm like okay this is a sign like i, I hear it, it sounds like rrr, rrr. like <laughs> it sound like it's not gonna crank up later lo and behold i go to my mama's house to go grab some seasoned salt because i don't have no seasoning well i do have seasoning over here but i don't have like my salt i use the morton <sighs> sea salt for my salad and my car just didn't come on in the parking lot so i walked over here to my crib and i'm not even like frustrated obviously it is an inconvenience because my child is with my aunt and my cousin right now so i gotta figure out how to go get my baby but at least i'm with family here and i'm not in the city and it broke down on me in the city and it goes down that was terrible i'm back in my crib and clearly you guys can see the background it is a mess last night i didn't get to do really what i wanted to do and so that's um was really my goal but i gotta try to figure out how to get to my kid later so i kind of just want to clean up a little bit first and eat my salad so i'm gonna do that and then i gotta get this video uploaded so that's all right honey look I am too blessed to be stressed, honey. The car break down, oh well, I work from home. Me and my kid taken care of, so. Okay. I'm just glad that I was able to get my toes done and my nails done. Cause honey, your girl needed it bad. I'm just eating up my salad, make a couple calls, and um, clean up. And we'll go from there. So I just got little gremlin back. That's Simone. And um, honey, she was hooping and ho I'm looking at her cause she's trying to crawl. Where are you going? Where are you going? She's trying to like get underneath her crib. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, let me just go ahead and get something up for the books. Cause I'm not trying to have a video uploaded like 9 PM. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, baby, we're not going to do all that. 
hopefully it should take me like 20 or 30 minutes to edit and then just to review it one last time and then press upload and then um yeah comment <laughs> comment questions topics concerns anything about me whatever you want to talk about mm -hmm. anything in general because next week's video is going to be a girl chit chat and that's gonna be my first one so i really want to make it kind of juicy so send in the questions send in the comments send in the concerns send in whatever you want to send in send it in honey but i'm gonna stop rambling hey baby y'all i gotta show y'all some more real quick go ahead <laughs> <laughs> And she lost her sock in her playpen. Where's your sock? And you have a milk mouth. <laughs> She's like, what do I do, mommy? But yes, to the people that have recently subscribed and are still rocking with me, I love y'all so much because the content, the consistency has went up 100%, but the content is also going up 100%. So I love y'all. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed, y'all. No matter what you're going through, you are still blessed. Don't look at today as being the worst day of your life. Looking at it as being a life lesson. God taught you something. Something is something you needed to go through or had to go through. I don't know. I just feel like I needed to be Sarah Jakes for a second and just start preaching. But I love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye.